Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over how and where to get all the best weapons in elemental dungeons. Also, I'm going to be doing a game pass giveaway. So to enter, just comment down below, uh, subscribe, and I will announce the winner on Friday. So I'm going to start out with the easiest one and possibly the best one, the lightning katana, or first you need to get the Grimshade katana to turn it into the lightning katana. Uh, and to get the Grimshade katana, you need to run snow castle. It has a 0.5% chance to drop on the hardest difficulty, so it's not super high chance to drop. And don't be fooled that it's only a legendary, because once you get the Grimshade Katana and you upgrade it to the Lightning Katana, it, it becomes a mythic. Uh, and to upgrade it, you just need eight Lightning Orbs, which is a lot, so it gets rolling. Uh, you need 100,000 gold and some scrap metal, as well as the Grimshade Katana. Once you have all those things, you can turn it into the Lightning Katana. Uh, it's a really good sword. It's if you're if you're gonna be a sword main, it's probably the best sword at the moment uh, because the ability is really good. It's the best ability out of all the swords at at least for right now. Um, but that's how you get the lightning katana. So for the second blade, I'm actually going to stay on the blacksmith guy because we're going to be talking about the Menta Blade. And the Menta Blade is probably the hardest one to get just because the amount of stuff you need to get it. You need three arcane necklaces, three fusion blades, a galaxy, and one million gold. Now, already just the galaxy is a mythical element to get the Menta Blade. That's already crazy enough. And the million gold, like low level players are going to have a really hard time getting that much. But then the three arcane necklaces, you need two of each water, fire, earth, and air. So you have to just roll for eight of these or six of these total because you're gonna need three arcane necklaces and then the fusion blades you're gonna need 90 diamonds in total 300,000 gold and three dragon orbs and then you're gonna need to take all of that and put it into the menta blade v1 and you might be thinking man the menta blade's got to be like the best thing in the game <laughs> well do i have some bad news for you this sword is trash the menta blade is at hot garbage or at least most people agree it is i'm just giving you my own take that most people think the menta blade and myself honestly think the menta blade is very bad it doesn't it has an ability but it's kind of rng so when you're swinging the menta blade the ability has a chance to proc and it's a ranged ability so you can't really predict it you just kind of have to swing and hope the ability shoots out um it's not very good and part, part of it not being very good is that it takes so many resources. Just It takes three legendaries with the dragons and then a galaxy orb, which is insane. So for the Menta Blade, I, I don't know if I'd recommend getting it. I, I see it getting nerfed because it's just so weak right now and it costs so much. But until it gets buffed or not nerfed, <laughs> I, I see it getting buffed. Uh, but until it does get buffed, I would... I would honestly suggest avoiding this sword, but I decided to mention it because it is one of the four best. So for the next one, this one's going to be super simple. It's the Poseidon's Trident from Atlantis. This trident is personally the sword I always use, um, but it's, it's not even that hard to get. Uh, it's really just doing dungeons like doing atlantis on the hardest difficulty again again you can refer to my my guide uh, on how to get better loot because that'll help you get things like the poseidon's trident but uh, really its ability is a grapple uh, i use it personally for movement so i think it's a really good sword if you're going to be an element main and you want a sword that gives you extra movement uh, i recommend the poseidon's trident because it's not really all that strong by itself its move isn't great it leaves you super vulnerable because what its move does i'll show you say there's enemies down here and you just swing into them it pulls you into them so when you use the ability it leaves you super vulnerable uh so and it, do, it doesn't really do enough damage to make up for how vulnerable it leaves you so i'd recommend probably not using the Poseidon Trident if you want to be a specific sword main, but if you want to be an element main and you want to use its ability more like movement like that right there, then I'd recommend it. But you get it from Atlantis and it at best, I believe, I, I'm just gonna, not even gonna, yeah, 0.1% chance. Um, but with this one, you don't need to do anything special. You don't need to go to the 
crafting you don't have to do any of that you just you get it and you have it so don't need to upgrade or anything you just you already have it uh this one's is personally the one i use but i'm not a sword main either i'm an element main who uses it for extra mobility the last sword to go over the out of the four best ones i'm uh, not saying it's the fourth best one but out of the four this is the last one it's the sword you get from underworld uh this one has a like 0.07 percent chance to drop i believe um it doesn't have any ability it just has an m1 and i don't really know if if it's worth it it feels kind of lazy not to have given it an ability so i haven't even really grinded to try to get this one yet uh it's like really try to get it because with no ability it just feels kind of meh to even go for but i heard it does do a ton of m1 damage and i've had videos and clips of people using it sent to me and it does it does really well it, it is super strong it's just not that cool since there's no ability uh feels like i said a little lazy by the developers but you know if you want it i'd say this one is also in the top four best swords just because the amount of damage it does per click and because right now there's not even that many swords to begin with now the best way to get these swords is probably just following my getting good loot guide uh, that goes over really anything you need and I, I would highly recommend watching it because the detail i go into on how to get the best loot in the game and that includes any of these swords is really it's a lot um so if you want to know how you can increase your chances of getting these swords that you might want uh, i'd highly recommend watching that but that's all for today's video if you liked it consider leaving a like and yeah see ya